Yo, hello, my name is Westpam and welcome to your very first VVVV video tutorial. Today I will get you up and running using V4. Well, first you need a Windows computer and some internet. V4 will run on a Mac, but you have to use Parallels to run Windows. V4 will run on almost any computer, but the hardware will determine how smooth things are going. And the graphics card will be the limited factor for awesome visuals. I have 4V running on a cheap Windows 8 tablet, and yes it works, just don't expect anything nice on there. So let's uh, open up your browser, and we go to vvvv.org. And here, under downloads, we can download vvv. We can choose between a 32 bits and a 64 bits version, or x68 and x64. So you should check what version of Windows you are running, it's uh, under system properties. I am running the 64-bit version and uh, they do recommend you to use the 64-bit version. But there is some old stuff missing in 64-bit builds that's not very ported. So if you uh, do insist on uh, using one of these things over here, you should get 32 bits, but uh, for now let's stick with 64. Well, there are two files we need to download. Uh, one is VVV itself, and one is the add-ons. The add-on pack contains extra nodes and functions. We can use V4 without the add-ons, but everyone assumes you're using the add-on pack, so it's best to just download and install this one as well. The add-on pack always matches the V4 release, so be sure to grab and the V4 version and the add-on packs if you download it again. So I'm just going to click here to download my V4 version and I click here to download my add-on pack. And once they are done downloading, we need to extract them. Well, if we scroll down, we can see an installation guide. You can follow it or you can watch my video, doesn't really matter, we both do the same things. Uh, the thing is, they do recommend 7-zip and not the built-in uh, extractor from Windows. But I'm using WinRAR and that seems to work just as fine. The vvvv.org website will be your number one source for learning, documentation and extras. And the forums is the place where you can post your questions. And under contributions you can download stuff that other users have made and are so kind to share around. And there is a lot of contributions with a lot of cool stuff in them. So once we downloaded both our files, we first need to unzip the vvvv45 beta zip file to a location. And this will be our main folder. So you can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it on a desktop. Just be sure not to move this folder off the installation. So I'm just going to unzip it on my desktop. And once that's done, I need to unzip my add-on pack as well. So let me grab the add-on pack. The zip file for the add-on pack contains one folder, add-on pack, and you just drag it inside the V4 folder we just extracted, like so. It can take a while, a lot of small files. So once your final folder should look like this, you got the add-on pack and all the V4 stuff in here. So now we're done and we can run setup, setup.exe, that's over here. Uh, VVVV will not install itself. It will all stay in one folder, however it depends heavily on the Microsoft.NET stuff. So let's run the setup. It will ask for admin rights because it's going to make some file associations. And uh, let's click OK. OK, this is the V4 installation screen. And depending on all the software you already have running, some of these are green and some of these are red. Now the red ones need to be green. And luckily there is a link to the web setup, so if I just click here, my browser will open and I will be sent to the location where I can download the missing file. So I'm just going to click download. It's over here now and I need to install it as well, of course. And, um, and if I now go back to the setup, you see I got one more green dot here, one more red to go. So I click web setup. Oh, and if you are missing the DirectX 9 stuff, you might want to be careful, because Microsoft likes to install the Bing search bar as well. But I got one more red dot to go, so let's go there. Ah, it's already downloading over here. And uh, once this is done, 
we are good to go and start V4 for the very first time. So now everything is green and we can close the setup. I can close my browser. Okay, let's see if it works. If I click on start with demo.bat, which is a batch file, V4 will open and we're going to see this batch. And this is the demonstration patch that comes with beta 33. And everything seems to work correctly. We don't got any red nodes, so we have installed V4 properly. Uh, this patch is just a little example on masking textures using this shape. Well, now we have V4 installed. And in the next video tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use V4. Well, my name is Wes Bam and thank you for watching.